All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy for nine. And in this video, we're going to talk about some relatively good news. Steven Espinosa of Showtime seriously disagrees with some things that were said by Floyd Mayweather Jr. about the big fight they want, that we want to see, Errol Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford. Uh, let's talk about what Steven Espinosa had to say in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to give you another update on the Errol Spence Jr. Terrence Crawford fight. Uh, just a couple days ago, Floyd Mayweather Jr. poured water on the fight uh, by saying that it was not going to happen until later off in the future. Uh, Steven Espinosa, who is the president of Showtime Sports, gave his uh, take on the matter, and it was significantly more optimistic. Uh, and he also took a little bit of time to uh, to dismiss some things uh, in a, in generality, dismiss some things that had been reported. Uh, so before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. If you are new to the channel, hit that like button. Excuse me, hit that subscribe button, hit, hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of when we release more videos. So let's get into this, you know, not earth shattering stuff here. However, just keeping you up to date with what is going on. We've been talking about it this long. Might as well let you know when somebody of, you know, some importance in the situation, let something be known. And this, in this particular instance, it is uh, Steven Espinoza, who was interviewed after last night's fight that took place with uh, Sebastian Fundora against Carlos Ocampo. Uh, also on that card was um, f f uh, Montiel versus Carlos Adamas. Uh, after that fight, uh, Steven Espinoza availed himself to interviews, and he was asked specifically about what uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. had said about the fight between Errol and Terrence. And he said, look, I don't agree with, I don't agree with Floyd. I don't think this is a situation where the fight is going to be postponed out six, eight months or somewhere off into the future. He said that he's just still very, very optimistic about the fight being made. And that pretty much that these headlines and stuff that have been put out. And when he's talking about the headlines, you know who he's talking about. He's talking about the stuff from Mike Coppinger, maybe the stuff from Lance Pugmire, even though Lance Pugmire uh, report sounds a lot more closely aligned with what Steven Espinosa is saying. But basically it's like people know 5% of the, uh, you know, get a little bit, a little bit of information and they, and they run with it. And, you know, but most of the stuff that they're saying is not true. Right. And so, cause if they're saying they get 5% of the information, well, actually, I don't know if he's getting 5% of the actual information that's out there, right. Versus 5% of what they're saying being true or not, that's kind of hard to dice, uh, hard to, you know, kind of get out. You'd have to follow up with, uh, Steven Espinosa and ask him, what do you mean? 5%, 5% of what they said or five percent of the whole everything going on but pretty much was dismissive of that and says that a few things number one that he believes that that fight even november 19th is still possible he said it's getting a little bit late for that but he said look if he if the fight winds up happening in december and not november you know people are not going to be really really upset so it looks like you know november is still i mean december is still you know a possibility they say he said that it's a very complex deal and nobody's going to sign anything until they're 100 percent, you know, you know, together with what they're signing because, you know, it's a big fight, complex deal. Um, and that he's very he said he's just as optimistic as he ever was that the fight that the fight can happen right now. He also said that specifically that there is no that nobody is talking about a plan B for Errol Spence Jr. or a plan B for Terrence Crawford as it relates to the fight because Errol is saying that that's the fight that he wants and he doesn't want any other fight other than that. Next, Terrence Crawford is saying that's the fight that he wants and that's the only fight that he wants. Next, so that's what those guys are. Everybody is pushing towards getting done. Neither one of the fighters have actually said or backed down from the fact that they want to make this fight. Now, does that mean that this fight is going to happen 
No, because this is the point of the video where I share my opinion on it. Um, and again, I, I'm listening to what everybody says. Steven Espinosa has a viewpoint. Floyd Mayweather Jr. also has a viewpoint, has a viewpoint as well. Uh, I'm sure 100 percent that Ter that Errol Spence Jr. wants to fight. Right. And he is not going to be talking to anybody about not making the fight is going to push back very strongly on somebody trying to make another fight for him. But that does not mean that 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 Floyd Mayweather Jr., who's with the PBC, will not have does not have something to say about whether or not that fight gets made. And ultimately, if some if people in the PBC are are really, really stubborn on it, then. You know, it's just going to keep going on and on and on and on. Um, and eventually, you know, something else is going to something else is going to have to pop. Right. So and then another thing is, you know, Stephen Espinosa says, you know, it's a very complicated it's a complicated deal. You know, people are still negotiating. We're making progress. I mean, I mean, I'm sure it is a complicated deal. However, it's like you're at five month five of negotiations. You know what I mean? Like it's how complicated, how complicated it is. Are you building a space shuttle or something right after five, six months, you can sit down, you can sit down and figure it out what a purse split is going to be, what fight is going to be, what fight is going to air on, what the, you know, what the replay rights are going to be, you know, what the, what the, you know, all of those types, especially when you have people from Terrence Crawford's camp saying that he, they've already agreed on the financial aspects, it, aspects of it, with the exception of wanting to have approval of expenses and, you know, that right there is just never, it's just not going to happen. But anyway, you know, they keep on going on. It's, it seems like Errol and Terrence are the ones that are really pushing to continue to make sure that this fight get, happens because that's the fight that they really want. But I cannot help but think that there's not real hurdles to that fight that are taking place with some of the middlemen in between the two of those guys. Because boxers, you know, when they want fights, fights can get made. Or let me put it this way. When fight when fighters don't want fights, fighters won't get fights, won't get made. If so, if a guy just refuses to fight, you can't make the guy fight. Uh, but however, if you have other significant stakeholders in you know significant stakeholders in the situation, and they aren't necessarily excited about the fight or wanting to do the fight, then you know things like this can very well happen, where you get a very very long prolonged negotiation that winds up eventually not going anywhere not saying that this won't go anywhere but definitely definitely a chance but it also this all kind of makes sense with what um you know the position of, of steven espinoza which is kind of you know in between the middle of everybody right he he's deals he know he, he's dealing with errol spence jr and he knows Errol wants to fight he knows terrence wants to fight he wants he knows the PBC and what the PBC is going to want to air on their networks, right? Now, there are certain things that also um, other people had said about other networks having been involved in a negotiation and the bids being somewhat competitive. So, you know, maybe that's also in there a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, we'll see what's ha you know, what will happen. I hope Stephen Espinosa is right that it can happen in January. You know, it can happen in December. I think November is, I mean, November is six weeks away i mean it's november 19th that particular date which seems like it was true because he did not disagree that they were targeting november 19th november 19th is one month in 10 days one month in 10 days away right so it is less than six weeks away it is walking up on five weeks with no press conferences no like floyd mayweather jr said no tour any of that type of stuff haven't taken place before they go into training camp so in that regard i think i'm following a little bit more closely with floyd but anyway just thought that you guys should know that uh thank you so much for your support let me know what you think in the comment section and with that i'm out peace mm -hmm.